Hey, Tamron, happiest of birthdays, you beauty. Pop that bottle of champagne, that good bottle of champagne. Share it with your friends or not. Happy birthday, T. You are 53 and fabulous. Nothing but love for you. Tamron, happy birthday, big Virgo energy. I'm a Virgo, more life, more life. Hey mama, happy 25th birthday. Whatever it is, girl, you look good. You're Benjamin Button's little sister. Happy birthday. Keep shining, keep driving, keep being free. Love you. Oh my God, those are some of our season five guest friends who've dropped by. Our next guest is a celebrity makeup artist, businesswoman, mom, QVC host, and the true definition of over 50 and fabulous. Let's see her in action. Take a look. No glasses. Okay. A <laughs> This is why. And that is over 50 and fabulous. Please let the show have great reviews. <laughs> it is hard to, to, to um, grow old gracefully, but I think the key is to grow old great. Uh, For the first time, let's bring her in somebody I've known a long time, Mally Roncal. Mally, come on out. <laughs> Transform our studio to Bourbon Street at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Congratulations on Thank everything. You. We've known each other oh. since I was over at the Today Show. Yes, ma'am. And I told my T, I have an eyeliner that Mally gave me 15 mm -hmm. years ago. It is down to the nub. <laughs> it is the most beautiful blue eyeliner. Oh. I, I literally have like this. <laughs> you have been a celebrity makeup artist for yes. how many years now? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. I'm 51. I'll be 52 in January. Oh. Woo! Yes! Um, and I started in my early 20s. So in your early 20s. 30 years. Yeah. And you've done some of the biggest names. When I met you, you Beyonce, Beyonce was yes. your client. Yes. Um, and okay. you established, you came out of the shoot fast. Yes. Your name everywhere. Thank and you. How, what do you credit to the longevity of, of being an entrepreneur, yes. being relevant, mm -hmm. and not, for example, in the world of beauty, aging out? Well, you know, it's funny you say that. It, I think so much of it has to be, and I've learned this over getting older, is staying truly, authentically who you are. You know, it's really easy out there. We all know to kind of fall into what, you know, other people want you to be. The great thing about turning 50 is, honey, you don't care about that anymore. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! You're like it's it's me time. Right, it's me time. time. Yeah. You were on Forbes 50 over 50 list last month. How did that feel? Oh my God! Is that crazy? You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. It did feel a little bit like imposter syndrome for a minute. Oh, why? Yeah. You know, it's funny because I open the, and and as women, I think we're people pleasers, right? We're worriers. We're always worrying about everybody else. And then when someone gives us a compliment, we're like, oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. And I I had that for about 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does freedom mean for you? I think at the end of the day, freedom for me is, again, letting go of what people think about you yeah. or what, um, you know, worrying about everyone else's opinion of who you are. For me, it was personal turning 50 in the sense that my mom was actually diagnosed with breast cancer before I turned one year old. And they gave her six months to live. And she lived for 17 years by the grace of God. Yes. Um, but she... She died at 49, so she never got to see 50, right? And so when I turned 50, I said, I'm doing this all for her. I'm gonna be all the things that she couldn't be. And I've raised three beautiful babies with my husband, and they are our whole lives. There they are, I know. And we got three teenage girls. Does anyone have any um, advice? <laughs> no. Okay, we'll talk about that. Run, later. run is the <laughs> advice, run. Exactly. I, but I want to go back to what you said about your mom not being able, not reaching the age of 50. Yeah. And you having that perspective of how, 
it's not promised to us. None of it is. No, that is right. And she That's determined right. how you receive this number. That's correct. Because she didn't reach that number. That is right. And that is the reason why I didn't dread it. Um, I, I actually welcomed it. And I saw it as a rite of passage to do her give her the honor that she didn't actually get to have. So that's why I live every day. Miss Tamron Hall, I get to sit with Tamron. Are you kidding me? What a blessing.